Go right ahead and grab that ketchup and some french fries because today we are having a mushroom Swiss bacon burger. Let's get into it. YouTube fam, what is popping today? Today, you guys, we have a nice little special treat going on. Can you guys guess what I'm making? Look, we got bacon. We got ground beef. We got onion. And I think for this, um, I think what I'm going to do is use the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Probably white. We got some onion. We got us some Swiss cheese. We got us some nice sliced baby portabella mushrooms. And we have some delicious sourdough sliced bread, y'all. What am I making, you say? We making bacon, Swiss, mushroom burgers. Let's get into it. All right, my YouTube fam. So we are starting with um, cooking up our bacon. I just have four nice thick cut pieces of bacon here. I'm going to fry these off. And then after these are done, I am going to add on our um, beef patties. We're gonna season those beef patties really good. We want to cook the beef. That's why we're doing the bacon first because we want to cook the uh, beef patties right in this bacon fat because it's just gonna take the flavor up a thousand notches. So we go cook our beef patties in this bacon fat when this is done. And then we go sear off our veggies, y'all. We just, we just about to have a good time. Uh, we are about to have a good time. That's on that. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with um, showing you how I fry bacon. You see, we got the griddle game out today. We know it's griddle game, griddle game, griddle game. You know, I love using my griddle because it's like a listen. You can get everything done one shot. Everything on the same griddle. Bomb, quick, easy cleanup. That's what I love. So let's finish cooking off this bacon. And then I'm going to show you guys my patties on the gritto. And like I said, we're gonna season those bad boys up and it is about to be on and popping. Stay tuned. All right, my beautiful, beautiful YouTube fam. Our bacon is done. So I have fried off our bacon. It is nice and done just the way we like it. See there so now let's take it off okay now you see how we got all that nice bacon fat left over we need that in our lives so let's start to form our patties so I'm using regular regular ground beef nothing fancy regular ground beef so what I am about to try to do is shape these into the form of our sourdough bread. Our sourdough bread is kind of like big and square. Of course, we don't want to have a round burger with a nice square, um, with a nice square, um, what am I trying to say? Um, square uh, piece of bread. So you definitely want to try to form it into the shape of your bread you guys so therefore when you bite down you will have just beef in every bite yes 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 so i'm trying to form this the best way i know how it's not it doesn't have to be perfect be careful because that bacon fat just spread it up and burnt me but i'm a g in the kitchen so it's all good so i kind of want them shaped just like this you guys this is kind of how I want it. And I'm just pressing them down because you know it's going to shrink up. So I'm just going to keep pressing that down. Just like that. And I'm going to do another one that I already started forming over here. Ooh. OK. 
okay? Just make it into a ball first. And then you just want to form it. I don't know if y'all can see me doing this. Y'all probably could. Okay, put it down and just flatten it out. See, I just did it again because I'm goofy. I'm goofy and burnt at this point. Okay. Just like that. that, 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 that. Right in the bacon fat, y'all. Right in there. Flatten it down. Okay. And we have one more. I am making three. Okay. Here's our third one that we are about to shape up. Put it right over here. Uh huh. Try not to burn myself with this one, y'all. Jeez. I'm just pressing down and that bacon fat squirting up in the, uh, squirting all up in the hole. So, this should be really good. So now, hold on y'all, I'm about to go wash my hands real quick so I can throw some seasoning on here. Because I kind of want them nice and flat. Just like that. Let me wash my hands, y'all. Be right back. guys let's get the seasoning our beautiful burgers and we are going to start with my all-purpose seasoning look this is how much I love my seasoning look I'm almost ran out I almost ran out y'all look it this is my all-purpose seasoning soon to be available to my YouTube fam really 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 soon this is this is the packaging for my seasoning. It comes in regular, also hot. So that will be available to you guys really soon. So I want these soap. Now my seasoning has 14 different herbs and spices, okay? Flavorful, not salty, but flavorful. So I'm going to season it with that. Okay. All right, I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of coarse black pepper and kosher salt, okay? And as if you guys been watching me, I like to mix my salt and pepper up in one container. Makes it easier. It's nothing like salt and pepper um, and beef. That beef wants that regular salt and pepper. It wants it. Season your food. Okay, so we got a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm also going to go in with some garlic powder, granulated garlic, y'all. Okay. Granulated garlic. Okay. And lastly, we are going to go in with some six pepper blend. We are trying to have uh, some very, very flavorful bacon mushroom Swiss burgers tonight, okay? All right. So now, we just let that settle, let that cook. I like, uh, we like, in this household, we like our burgers well done. I do not like a medium rare or a medium well burger. We like our burgers well done. So I'm cooking this cow until it's dead three times over. If, so I'm gonna tell you right now, if that drives you crazy, you may want to click off because we, we cooking this bad boy until it's well done. So, let's see here. Let's check the bottom. Not quite time. And you can use frozen, um, regular frozen patties for this. Use whatever kind of beef you have. If you have like the frozen hamburger patties, use that. You know, I just got this nice sourdough large bread, so I just wanted that, I just wanted to fill it out. But if you have like the little patties or whatever, cook two patties. If you have a large bread, cook two patties, patties 
cheese, it'll fill it and fill that bread up. You gotta use what you got to get what you want. So these are looking and smelling great. And I'm just cooking burgers, y'all. So I'm just cooking burgers. So I'm not even gonna bore y'all with that. When this is halfway done, what I'm gonna do is move these over to the side, let those kind of finish cooking, and then I am going to get on our onions and mushrooms. And we are gonna saute those on the other side, and then after that, y'all, y'all know what time it is. It's time to build! So y'all stay tuned, I'll be back when the burgers are midway done. I am going to season the other side, you guys. So stay tuned. All right, YouTube fam. So, it is time to flip our burgers. They have probably been cooking on this side for about, if I had to give some minutes, they have probably been cooking on this side for about, I don't know, probably about eight minutes. So now let's get to flipping. Be careful. Okay, see how we got that nice char? That nice char on there? Yes. Okay, let's flip this one. Just pop it like crazy. Be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Looking good. So now what we want to do, and look at all this grease, y'all. Crazy. This is why I like cooking, um... So I'm trying to get more into ground turkey, um, which I do cook a lot of now, um, but I just can't get with it yet with my burgers. Um, so I definitely still have to mess with the ground beef with the burgers. But this is why I love cooking um, burgers on the griddle because I like this little catch thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And all you do is just grab that grease, push it down. Grab that grease and push it right on down. Push that right on down into that cup so it doesn't have to like swim in it. Take that, push that right on down. Right on down, see there? Take that, move that over here. I'm gonna empty it because I'm gonna empty more of this grease. And I'm gonna empty this. See all that grease that it catches y'all? See that? So now we just dump that. Okay, put it right back on, and let's get some more of that grease out of there, because we really don't want that grease. Well, I mean, some people really do want the grease. I'm just trying to, like, cut down on a few things, but hey, if you like the grease, I know some people who are like, let their burger still fry in that grease. They'll let their burger still fry in that grease, melt the cheese on it. And do this. It's all about doing you. I'm just giving you a blueprint. All I'm doing right now is giving you a blueprint. You take that blueprint and you do what you want to do with it. You can use turkey. You can use ground turkey for this. You don't have to use ground beef. A lot of people enjoy turkey burgers. Or, or chicken. Oh, chicken would be good. That's something I even try. So now we got half of that grease semi cleaned up and out of our life so now let's season the back and these burgers are looking so good that's why I kind of want it and I did have frozen patties but I kind of wanted to use um, like the loose ground beef for this recipe for sure and you see how our burgers shrunk up that's why you got to make them extra big. Extra big for this bread. Okay, garlic powder. So we season both sides, sides nice and good. And let me show y'all what I'm talking about with, ah, let me show y'all what I'm talking about with this bread. Let me show you all this sourdough bread, y'all. Oh my goodness. Listen, bomb. See how wide, see how wide that is? 
So you don't want just like a small little circular patty. You want a patty that's going to like stand up to that nice slice of thick bread. You know what I'm saying? So, but we're going to tuck that bread back in there for last. And now, you going zone. We're going to move that over, move that over, move that over. And now we're going to start grilling up our veggies. Now, this is a white onion, probably about um, not even half of a white onion. Y'all seen how big it was. So I wanted to keep these um, slices thick because I want to be able to taste that onion, bite into that onion. I wanted a bold onion flavor with this. So now just break that apart and you can slice your onions thin or small. Do you. You know what I'm saying? You got to take the recipe and you have to do you. Not even a recipe. Some things I just don't like calling recipes, y'all. You know, some, you know, I'm just showing y'all what I cook. Day in the life of, you know, uh, of teach. Day in the life, life of teach, y'all. I lost the onion. Let's put it back on there. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing with a strain. Okay, so we got our onions on. So now I'm going to spray my onions with a little bit of this um, butter flavor um, cooking spray. Just a tad. Just a tad. Okay, kind of wipe up some of this grease. Okay, we got our mushrooms over here chilling in the cut. So let me go grab those. Okay, so we got our baby portabellas right here, nice and washed off right here. So I am going to add those right on here, right on the griddle with our onion. Okay. Boom. And I'm going to add on some of my all-purpose seasoning on those onions and those mushrooms oh yeah about to take those veggies up to a whole nother level a whole nother level a whole nother level 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 mix it on up mix it on up you know when you mixing them up you mixing up those peppers and those uh mushrooms and those onions when you mix them up you introducing them you know what i'm saying you like hey mushrooms get to know onions hey onions get to know the mushrooms and listen it's gonna be a it's gonna be a really good friendship but you gotta combine them it's gonna be a good friendship look at that look how that seasoning just make those look the seasoning just make the make it look good Got our burgers over here doing what it do. Almost done. Everything is looking good. So, I'm going to let these get a little softer. Okay, let those get a little soft. And um, I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back. I'll be back when the vegetables is nice and soft. And when it's just basically, I'll be back actually when it's time to build this bad boy. Because everything is going to be done. We're going to toast our bread. We're about to start building these. I'm excited. Stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube fam. Yeah, you can put it in the oven. Now it is time. Oh, man, hand me that spatula. Now it's time to start building. Stop. <laughs> I want to be in the camera so bad. Look at our, look at our sourdough bread, y'all. Look at that. Look at our sourdough bread, y'all. Okay, so I've been debating this like how I want to build it. Can y'all see those veggies? Can y'all see those onions and peppers? They are like perfect. Okay, so um, hand me some foil. Hey y'all, I got my, my my beautiful assistant in the kitchen right now. He, he working, y'all. Thank you, my lovely, lovely helper. 
lovely, just lovely. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> they do not see. They do not see your hand. Okay. So we got our beautiful bread, right, y'all? So I'm trying to. I want to. Let me see if I. I want them to see me build this sandwich. But I'm gonna have to move this out. Let me move this out the way. Because I want them to see me build it. Because y'all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it. And then I am going to um, put it in the oven on low just to keep it warm and make sure that Swiss is nice and so look. See that? We got the foil. Let's take our bread. Let's check the other side. Okay. Okay. So now, y'all, we got that. Let's take our beautiful patty. Beautiful seasoned patty, right? So, what do we want to put on first? Let's put on our onions and mushrooms. Because I'm thinking I want to do the cheese last. So, let's put on our onions and mushrooms. Look at that. Oh, 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 me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, my. Look at that. Alexa, pause. Y'all, I forgot to pause Alexa. But I ain't big time yet for all that copyright stuff. So I should be good. I was jamming. Listen, when I'm cooking, I, I like to jam. I like to jam. There's a little bit of whispers going on. So look, we got our beautiful um, burnt. We got our beautiful, beautiful toasted bread. We have our nice seasoned patty. And we have our caramelized onions, white onion, and portobello mushrooms. Now, what we are about to do is lay on, I'm not even going to like cut those pieces of bacon in, in fours. I'm just going to keep it just like this, too. Just like that, right? So now, let's take our Swiss cheese. One right here. One right here. Y'all, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do this also. Hold on, rewind the whole tape. Take this off, right? Your cheese and your bacon, rewind it. We rewind it right now. Add on a smidget of A1 sauce, right? We're gonna add on a little A1, just like that. Oh, that's gonna be good. Right? Let's take our bacon and our Swiss. Lay that back on, right? Now, go over here and get our mayo. Get our mayonnaise. Because here's our other beautiful slice of bread right here. So let's, I'm going in with light. Just light. Light mayo right at the top. Light, light mayo on the top bun. Not even, not even mayo on the uh, bottom bun. Just the top, just like that. Okay. Take that. Flip that over. Look at that. Boom. Now what we gonna do, y'all? We gonna wrap this up, just like a nice little cute little package. We gonna see that? And now we're gonna put it in the oven. The oven is on super duper low, and I'm gonna keep this in the oven for maybe about, I'm gonna keep it in there, y'all, probably not even 10 minutes on low. I just want everything to just marry together. I want that Swiss cheese to melt up nice and good. When you open it, I just, listen, stay tuned, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna show y'all the end of result. Stop playing. Stop playing. Y'all know y'all gonna see the ending result. Let me build my other burgers, y'all. And I will be back. Stay tuned. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. Here is the finished result. Banging, flavorful. You guys, I went ahead and made up a nice, simple, sauce concoction this is nothing but a um, creamy Italian 
dressing in focus creamy Italian dressing in a one sauce listen don't knock it until you try it and I just want to flip this up you guys just to show you guys the cheese the onions the mushrooms so what you just do you guys is take that and just pour you a little bit of sauce on that listen listen trust me on this y'all bomb.com hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you all so much for tuning in all my new subscribers thank you so much all my ogs i love you and i'll see you guys in the next video everybody stay safe and stay blessed